Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm reviewing a brand new candle brand for you that I've never tried before. Um, this is an American brand called Crossroads Candles. So I only got this because I see it on the Wax Addicts website as you'll see on the video I've got two crumble pots here so Grandpa's Pipe and Raspberry Creamsicle. So I just thought I'd give it a go. It's a brand I've not heard anyone say about it before. Um, I've I've just never heard of it, so I thought I was a bit sceptical. I thought you don't know until you try. So I'll talk a little bit about Crossroads Candles to begin with before we go on to the reviews. So they currently do, this is the thing that interested me the most, and I'll put a picture of it on the screen now. So it doesn't look like much, but that is a 96 ounce candle. So if you think Yankee Candle is normally 22 ounces per large jar, 96 ounces and they are retailing at 88 dollars so absolutely huge um i don't even know why you would want a candle that big and the same scent for that long but massive um the next size down is 64 ounces for 60 dollars which again huge um and the one closest to a yankee candle that they've got is 26 ounces which is 24 dollars um they all look the same style as that jar that i just put up but obviously a little bit smaller they also do crumbles, mini melts and scented cubes, which I'll put a picture up now. So that's the different variations of raspberry creamsicle they do. Um, let me just have a look. It looks like they also do grandpa's pipe in the same, um, the same variation. So that's probably just their standard ones that they do. So I will start off with grandpa's pipe. So the scent notes for this are rich tobacco with tonka, clove, cedar and musk. So straight away, I like that the scent notes are not in a massive paragraph like what Yankee do sometimes, because sometimes the candle's only going to smell of a few things, but they list a whole book's worth of notes in there. So it says on their description, it's high quality, clean burning wax, um, lead free, a scent lock lid, scent specific label um and as you saw i'll put another picture up now of this jar um the label is very basic they're not the most stunning of candles because i know a lot of yankee collectors do like the labels on their yankee jars so this one unless i'm just gonna let me read the raspberry one out first just and then i'll review them both together so the notes for the raspberry creamsicle are vine ripened raspberry, vanilla, cream and sugar. So let's get on to what I thought of both of them. And the reason I've stopped doing what I was just doing and I'm re reviewing them both together is because I thought they were both pretty terrible. Um, so if I wouldn't have talked about the brand a little bit before, this video could have been very, very short. Um, unfortunately for me, I didn't get really any smell off of either of these scents. Um, I used both of them in a normal tea light warmer. I didn't use an electric warmer because I know sometimes they don't work as well. So I did use a traditional tea light burner. Um, and the the raspberry creamsicle zero, I didn't get any scent off of that. Grandpa's pipe, maybe a, a tiny little bit of like the musk tobacco scent, but only enough to maybe say a two out of 10 rating, which is terrible. Um, really did not rate these and it's really not made me want to get them again i don't know if maybe if i got the jar format maybe in the 26 ounces which would still fit under my lamp i think because obviously the 22 ounce yankee fits under there comfortably and um, i think if i got the 26 ounces and it could go under my jar um my candle burner maybe the lamp would make it throw a little bit better but these two wax crumbles did literally nothing for me. Um, and I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie and say, yeah, they're lovely, they're great, just because other people might think they're good. This is obviously my own opinion. I know sometimes I say candles are really bad and people do seem to be get a little bit humpy, to say, um, if they don't have the same opinion. But everyone's different. Everyone knows smells something slightly different. And on this occasion, this brand has really not interested me in the slightest um i could only really smell grandpa's pipe if i was hanging my nose over the tea light warmer with the wax all melted but raspberry creams are cool nothing um and i was really hoping it would be a really nice sort of dessert scent so i'm not sure what everyone in 
America feels like with these. Please do let me know if you're from America or even if you're from the UK and you have had these, if you think any different. Um, I'm just really shocked that both scents would have been this bad. I would have thought maybe I would have just got one dud or like obviously there's a lot of candle brands and sometimes you get a candle it doesn't smell at all and then they do another scent and it's lovely so I thought maybe one of these would be okay but no nothing I would definitely not recommend them if you do go from my opinions um, and I personally don't think I will be trying these again um, but it's a shame because there is loads and loads of fragrances that sound absolutely amazing. They've got mulled cider, maple pumpkin donut, spiced latte, cinnamon bun, blueberry pancakes, um, Santa's cookie crumble. There's tons. There's tons and tons. I'll still link them down below just in case you want to have a little nose at their website and just see all the different scents they do and their different variations and prices. But for me on this occasion... No, <laughs> um, I would not purchase this brand again. Um, and unless I did for somehow come across a jar very cheap here in the UK, I might be tempted to give a jar a go under the lamp just to see if it does perform any better. But for now, it's a big no from me, unfortunately. So yeah, please do let me know down below if you've tried any of these scents and you do really like them or if you thought they was okay. Because obviously this is only two cents out of a very, very big well a very big range of scents that they do so it might just be that i've i've happened to have bought the two worst scents that they do who knows but yeah let me know down below if you've tried these what scents you've tried and if you think i should give a large jar well not a large jar i'm not getting the 96 ounces um if i should get the the smaller jar that they do just the standard uh 26 one um let me know if you think that i should get that if i do come across it and I'll go from there. But yeah, at the moment, not for me. But as always, thank you for watching and I'll get a new review out for you soon.